All right. Well, I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad to be here. So with that being said, I'm going to show you today the Aeolian scale and then give you a bass riff that um, you'll like that use it, utilizes this Aeolian scale. Um, the Aeolian scale is a nice scale. It's, it's a great scale to use for soloing. And um, I will show you that here in a minute. But for now, I'm Donald Witt, the bass instructor for the online course. I want to play bass.com, and we give you everything from setting your bass up to soloing over um, to advanced improvisational skills. So it's all there. Your lessons um, come out every day. So just go ahead and subscribe there and become a, um, a free, subscribe for free, become a member and um, then upgrade and sign up and upgrade to get um, lessons every day on um, how to reach your bass playing goals. All right, so so that's that and subscribe here as well because um, I've got lots of little tips that come out of here, little bass riffs that, um, that are cool that you can learn and help you um, grow, um, help you build your um, skills on playing bass. So definitely subscribe, comment down below um, I love the interaction, but let me know if you want the um, the transcript for this um, bass riff. I, I'll break it down for you. Um, just let me know. Just comment down below and subscribe while you're there. So today we're talking about the Aeolian scale, and it's the the sixth mode. If you've seen previous videos, um, I broke that down a little bit. It's the sixth mode of the major scale, in which the relative minor of the um, major scale which is like, say, we're in C. It's the sixth note. So the Aeolian, the A is the Aeolian. And now, I mean, the Aeolian is the same as the natural minor, which is a nice scale to use because it doesn't push you around in any direction, but you got to be careful with it because of that. It doesn't have that, that leading tone to push you to the root note, that A. create those melodies in your ensemble they're they're breaking the chords down the chord voicings that um dictate which chord you're in or where you're at where that root is so so that's where that is or usually when bass solos come in the rest of the band will drop out the um you know the drummer might hang out or you know but most time you're you're pretty free to do whatever you want and not worry about where you're at just as long as you land on one and you break that solo either eight bar phrases or 16 or wherever you're at but um you just got to be um aware of that so that is the the aeolian scale is made up of a whole step half step whole step whole step half step whole step whole step and and it's your the typical pattern is your first finger third finger fourth finger first finger third finger harmonic minor is something you can use as passing um, you can throw that in there and that'll help lead you to that A but it's not something um, it's it's a different it's definitely a different sound it's not um, you, know, you can use it as a passing tone a leading tone to that A but like the that's the harmonic minor scale get into that a little more um, in other other lessons as opposed to and, and the melodic minor so we'll, I'll dig deeper into that and I mean like I say sound for my classes I go into the classical the evolution of that um, how that came about the scale and why and what and everything's all right there so um, that's your Aeolian scale or your Aeolian mo mode same as the relative minor same um scale as a natural minor so it all fits in there like i say it's a when i was talking about the modes it's it's a good go-to for soloing soloing because it's, like i say it's not it gives you the minor feel that minor color and so 
adds character to your solo and the arrangement. So that is, that's why it's a popular scale to use. But it's real, there's no tension, not much. And that's where you gotta be careful because the tension here is leading you to that, that sixth right there. Um, and that's where it's a little, you know, that, that can mislead you to think, all right, there's my root, but that's not. Here's a little um, little bass riff. say subscribe down below and comment let me know what your thoughts are if you want the um, transcription or not I'll be glad to send it to you but I'm Donald Witt and subscribe and I'll see you next time peace out